Hi everybody, welcome to the stage. My name is James Pierre and we welcome someone special here on stage, Katrika Sterling. Thank welcome. you, thank you so much for having me. I have to say it's an honor to have you and I was there at the 8th Annual Gaspel Fest. You did an amazing job hosting the, the event. Thank that was great. You. That was great. But I know before we start talking about the um, Gaspel Fest, mm -hmm. you also a professor here at Miami-Dade College. Yes, I am. So you, you, you're known in the area and everything of what's going on. And your philosophy is something interesting about your mm -hmm. educational philosophy. Tell me more about it. Um, I always tell individuals that um, success is when 10,000 hours of preparation meets with one moment of opportunity. I think a lot of times we have to be mindful in how we prepare. And as a speech instructor, I'm always looking for excellence. My students will say, Professor, you ask for too much. I say, no, because when you leave here, you set a print, an imprint, and you leave a legacy. And that 10,000 hours, it's so significant because you can prepare and prepare and prepare, and then when you get to that moment of when you're going to shine, it's because of how you prepare. I always insist that not only in my students, but especially in my children yes. and even in ministry itself. So that is true and raw success in mm -hmm. the preparation of everything. You don't miss any opportunity. So where did you get that energy to keep on going? This is not your first time hosting no. the annual <laughs> Gaspel Fest. <laughs> Number one, um, eating good. But no, more importantly... <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, it's the anointing of the Most High God. Yes. Um, I, my faith, uh, the fact that uh, I'm a child of God and a pastor, and more importantly, the passion. I think that you do what God has created you in this world to do. And for me, it's speaking and declaring the word. Wow. Professor, I will go to poet. Then I will go to MC. So <laughs> how many hats do you Multiple have? Multiple hats. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about you, your performance. So not only you, you did um, host the 8th um, mm -hmm. Annual Gaspel Fest at the Lehman Theater this yeah. year, but you also did something special. Mm -hmm. And I want to take our viewers to the Lehman Theater mm -hmm. so we can share with them what did you do at the Lehman Theater. Let's watch. In the Congo. I walked the Fertile Crescent and built the Sphinx. I designed a pyramid so tough that a star which glows every 100 years falls down into the center, giving divine perfect light. Oh, girl, I'm bad. Look at me, not even 100 years old and already calling for a revolution. Truth be told, I was a revolution. You see, when I was born in the dawn of a new decade, I cried, black is beautiful, sisterhood is powerful, and I ain't I a woman. Now I, I sat on the throne, drinking nectar with Jesus. Ooh, child, I got hot and sent an ice age to Europe to cool my thirst. By the way, my oldest daughter is Nefertiti. The tears from my birth pains created the Nile. I am a beautiful woman. Fact is, um, I was fine. And, and for the first time, I, I knew it. I knew that I was um, stunning with all my tall, dark and brown, parallel, cafe au May skin tones. Oh, look, 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 look at my arms. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns. And excuse me, only Jesus could head me, honey. And I ain't I a woman. Now I gazed over the forehead and burnt out the Sahara Desert. Uh, with a packet of goat's meat, I crossed it uh, in two hours. I am a gazelle, a gazelle. So swift, I turned myself uh, into myself. Uh, and there was Jesus, Jesus. Oh, men intone his loving name. All uh, oh, praises, all uh, oh, praises, church. All uh, oh, praises, church. All uh, oh, praises, church. He is the one. Who saves just like moons and like suns with a certainty of tide, just like hope springing high, still we rise. We're that black ocean leaping and wide, welling and swelling. We bear in the tide, bearing the gifts that our ancestors gave. We are the hope. We are the dream of the slaves. We rise. We rise. Church, 
we rise. God bless you all. We rise. What a wonderful performance. <laughs> Tell me a bit about your inspirations. Where did you get the ideas of, you know, writing poems? And you know, such it things? started when I was here at Miami Day College as a student. I joined the speech and debate team and I love Something just happened. I think it was like more of an epiphany. And then I love to read black poets, Maya Angelou, Sojourner Truth, Nikki Giovanni, Intozaki Shange. That was a compilation of a lot of their works that I shared. So that's where the inspiration comes from. I always tell individuals that you are empowered when you know your history and you're empowered when you're able to impart that information that's where my passion comes from and of course the anointing of the most high god mm -hmm. he just makes everything look easy <laughs> absolutely i don't want to give it away already but 2015 is right around the corner yes uh, will you be the host of the ninth annual i'm not gonna tell you that <laughs> 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 this is our little secret, so I'm, I'm going to make sure it's not out there. I know, I know. So, but to share with us, uh, I will say, what is the message you have for young poets out there? Mm -hmm. What would you tell them they have to follow in order to be successful? Mm -hmm. Number one, they need to understand who they are. Don't try to imitate, replicate, duplicate someone else. Be an original. Don't try to be a carbon copy. I think that is important. Um, secondly, read. I think uh, especially when you're looking at a society, a lot of individuals, they don't like to read. So if you're going to be a, a great doctor, lawyer, teacher, whatever the field that you're called to be in, you have to be an aggressive reader, an avid Absolutely. reader. And I think lastly, uh, but definitely not least, realizing that all of us have been created in this world to live a message. We're living epistles and we're called to shape this world in some shape, form, or another and making sure that you leave an indelible impact in society i believe that that's the foundation of anything and realize not settling for the less because you know even when you talk about the next episode the viewers that came in uh, i think that it is so important to continue reaching and striving and discovering i think everything in what we do we discover new aspects and new pathways to Indeed. ourselves and be able to fulfill that I think that, that is the key Indeed. thing for young, young budding poets. Wow. And they nicely said, thank you so much, Katri Castelling, for mm -hmm. being here with us. It's really an honor having thank you on you. the stage. Thank you. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to have all the performers from the 8th Annual Gaspar Fest here at Miami-Dade College. Stay with us. Cool programs for hot jobs. Let Miami-Dade College jumpstart your career. We offer bachelor's degrees in film and TV production, electronics engineering, supervision and management, and nursing. Or choose from 300 other programs. With our flexible course schedules, you can take classes during the day, evening, weekend, or online. For more info, visit mdc.edu or call 305-237-8888. Get the knowledge and training for today's in-demand jobs. Register now. Welcome back to the stage. Now we are joining by Minister Brown. Welcome. Thank you, uh, Mr. J. And then now, of course, the first question will be, I've seen you performing at the uh, Lehman Theater for the 8th Annual Gospel Fest. Now tell me when all of this started. When did you start singing? Well, I've been singing ever since I was small. But um, I've been singing in, in, in different gospel groups and churches. and. Uh, also singing choirs in school and um, uh, artist groups around town mm -hmm. uh, like like the New Sounds of Joy, like uh, the Brothers in Christ and uh, the Gospel Explosion. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've been I've been a lead singer in all, in all the groups I was in. I was I've been blessed and I used to sing R.B. Um, with some guys and stuff, and um, 
that was a long story right there. Oh. But, but so you're the studying in group, and now I've seen you performing solo. So yes, so why that change? Well, giving on to God and Christ, which is the head of my life. You know, sometimes when when other folks don't want to go, yes. you have to keep on this Christian journey. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm not going to set back. I'm going to keep moving forward because the Lord have spared my life because I had a I had a life and death experience too. Uh, when I had a stroke on the job, and uh, when I was in the performance, I told you know the people that I had a stroke on the job, and, and um, the Lord brought me back, you know, in the pulpit uh, with my pastor, Reverend McGee at First Baptist of Brownville. I fell, I fell asleep to me, wow. but they said I wasn't breathing, but. Um, I, I've been singing for a long time, and, and, and even though I had got sick, I had got down to 124 pounds, and the Lord brought me back now. Look at me now. I weigh about yes. 225 pounds, yes. and, and I thank the Lord for that. And, um, but again, you're not only um, singing, you also minister, like right. I said at the introduction, but as well, you have a CD. Yes, Tell sir. us about that CD oh. because you have one of the songs from the CD yeah. was also the song that you performed for the Gospel Fest. Yeah, I have 12 songs on that CD. Um, this is my first CD uh -huh. that I recorded. Uh, the lead singer and the background and the writer of the songs and stuff. And uh, I have plenty more songs coming out, but but this one right here was the inspiration, you know, to push people, then draw them back to Christ. And I thank the Lord for that. I never find a love like Jesus. That's yes. a very strong title, and oh, that's like a statement, yes, and, and, and it's, it's wonderful. I want to take our viewers now to the Lehman Theater. Like I said, you did perform for the 8th Annual Gospel Fest, and uh, I want our viewers to see a bit of it. Let's okay. watch. Okay. Out of me on my way, yeah. Your grace and mercy. Follow me every day. You are my number one G. My number one G. You are my number one G. My number one G. You are my G. Yes, you are. Number one G. Yes, you are. You are. Number one G. Yeah. You are. Number one G. You are. Number one G. Yes, you are. Yeah. Number one G. God, you sent your only son. annual gospel <laughs> fest here at Miami Dade College at the Lehman Theater. So 2015 is kind of like a couple months away. Are you ready for the uh, ninth annual gospel, gospel um, fest if they call you to perform? Yeah, I'd be glad to come back if I'm not on tour. <laughs> there we go. That's another point. Yeah. So now telling me, uh, tell me a bit about the album and what are you working on right now? Okay, um, well, I'm touring right now. 
except for the cold weather and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've been um, to Fort Myers. Uh, I'm going to Pompano this Friday. And um, Winter Haven, um, West Palm Beach, Bell so you're doing different yeah. places and yeah. to promote your album. But I know this is a brand new album, but is there anything else that you're working on besides the, the album? Uh, well, I'm promoting this album right now. I got 12 songs on yes. that. And uh, uh, me and my manager and my director, they, they want to push the whole album out first. But I have another setting back ready to, to be released real wow. soon. That's, yeah. good. That's good. How can somebody reach out to you? What is the, is there a website? Is there a phone number How to okay. reach out to you? If they uh, want to book you for a concert or any other events. Okay. Um, my phone number is 786-443-2519. Um, my email address is, is horacebrown gmail.com uh, the single I never found a love like Jesus is on amazon.com and youtube.com and itunes.com okay okay yes. so you have different places where people can yes. really reach out to you yes. so I really again congratulate you on your performance at the 8th annual gospel fest and looking forward to see much more of what you're going to do in the future all right Thank you so much, uh, Minister Brown, for being here with us today. Thank you very much for, for you having. watching the stage. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, you're going to learn more about that special artist that's coming up next. Creative minds join together at Miami-Dade College. Celebrate, interrogate, practice and more through the curriculum of arts and philosophy at Miami-Dade College. Open your world by learning the innumerable ways in which people from every period of history and every corner of the globe process and document the human experience. Learn the skills you need to jumpstart your career by making a straight line from the classroom to the stage from books to the canvas, from dark to the light. Turn your life out from the ordinary understanding human experience and make your own statement. Arts and Philosophy at Miami-Dade College. Cultural, challenging, inspiring. Register now at the Wolfson Campus. A unique experience, be part of it. Arts and Philosophy at the Miami-Dade College. Welcome back to the stage. Now we are joining by Pat Jackson. Ms. Jackson, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you, Mr. James. It is truly an honor having you and our viewers will know a little bit later why I said it is truly an honor being here with us. But let's start with your path. I know you start singing when you were very little. Yes. Tell us a bit about that um, experience. Well, I started singing at a very early age mm -hmm. and um, Believe it or not, I was a foster child, and um, I was placed in a foster home. So I never knew my mom, never knew my dad, and I was placed in the home of a minister. And there she raised me. I stayed in the system until I became an adult. Um, she was a pastor of the church, so I was a pastor's kid. And I tell you, it, 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 was, it was an honor to be brought up under the leadership of my mom, my only mom that I knew. And I began to play the keyboard at an early age also because I used to sit by the musician and I used to, my feet were dangling then, and I used to try to mimic her and do what she does. Mm -hmm. And until one day I went home and I actually played. And from there it started. So I started. So at that's how you learn how to play the keyboard. Yes, I did. No wow. notes. No notes. Oh, only, wow. only what I hear by ear. 
Wow, wow. Yes. And would you say that now you're a solo artist and you perform as well in groups, so do you find your inspiration through by playing the, the keyboard? Very much, very much. My inspiration comes from my music, playing the keyboard, and basically just singing because I've been singing a long time, a long time. And um, it kind of grew with me. Um, I took on a lot of responsibility playing for the choirs when I was around 15 years old, you know, I was playing for choirs and I've just been brought up in church all my life, all my wow. life. Wow, wow. And I've seen you at the 8th Annual Gospel Fest here at Miami Dade College where yes. you did an amazing performance. <laughs> I can't wait. So I want our viewers to have an idea of how did you do on stage? Let's watch. Okay. From the breaking of day to the evening sun Lord, your work, your work, your work is never done. Performing miracles, miracles each and every day. Marvelous miracles, miracles in a special way. At the end of the day, no matter what goes or comes my way, I can lift my hands and say, I, I am a miracle, miracle, miracle. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are the light of my life and the very air I breathe. Your love, your joy and peace is all I ever need for a healing miracle, miracle. Every day, marvelous miracle in a special way. When all the hurt and pain is gone, to you, Lord, I belong. And I open my eyes to see just how good God's been to me. I can lift my hands and say, I am a miracle, miracle. Every day, marvelous miracle. In a special way, I am a miracle, miracle. You are truly a miracle. <laughs> Because, I mean, that's, that was amazing, the Thank performance. But you. I'm saying you are truly a miracle because you are a cancer survivor, stage four. Yes. Six car accident. Yes. Where did you get that strength to keep moving? Well, I've overcome a lot of obstacles. I've had a lot of obstacles in my life. And all I can say is, to God be the glory. Because he not only gave me a second chance, but he gave me third, fourth, fifth. I've been truly blessed. I've not only survived the, the six car accidents, I survived stage four cancer. I survived a bullet that came through my sister's home, a wow. near miss bullet. I also uh, survived an after death experience where I died. But the good Lord brought me back. And when he brought me back, uh, there was a song that came to me when I was receiving therapy treatment and radiation treatment in the yeah. hospital where I stayed for six days. And the, the song was called Heavenly Angels. That song, Heavenly Angels, is playing right now on the radio waves, WMBM, yeah. uh, right here in Miami, station 1490. And it's in the top of the charts. And I've bl I mean, I'm very blessed to know that this song is still playing every day now, daily. And it's very special to me because everything that I say or sing is what happened to me. I wrote my songs. I played my songs. I have background my songs. So all I can say is the best is yet to come. Wow, wow. And you never stop working. Right now you're working on something amazing. Tell us about that book. Well, I'm, I'm, yes, I am. I'm, I'm writing a book, um, and I want to talk about my, my foster years, being raised as a foster kid, um, being raised in the church as a pastor's kid, 
And I want to talk a little bit more about family, the family that I know. Even though I didn't know my mom or my dad, um, I've had a good upbringing. And I'm sad to say that she's no longer here with me. And she was very special to me. And we all so called her Big Mama. But she was an elder and she was a pastor of the church. Um, she did an amazing job, not with just me, but my other sisters and brothers as well. Wow, that's great. But I have to say congratulations. Receiving a call from the office of the President of the United States, that's a lot. I didn't <laughs> want to give it away. That's all I will sit it there. But tell me now, if somebody want to book you for an, a concert or for an event or just want to hear your testimonial, how could they reach out to you? Well, I do have a website and they can go to uh, www.pjstillstanding.webs.com and you can find everything, Facebook, social media network, everything is there. And you can find me also, uh, my email address is pjacksopm at aol.com. Wow, amazing. And please keep up your great smile. I Thank really you. enjoy it. Thank, Thank you, you so much, um, uh, Pat uh, Jackson, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Yes. Thank you for watching the stage. I'm James Pierre. We'll see you next time. <laughs>